to today's vlog. Thanks for tuning in. Today we have some shopping to do. My in-laws are in town and we have not been um, in our downtown for a little bit now. So we are going to go up and take Wilder to see the holiday lights and um, do a little shopping. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so I came in here to talk a little bit about a struggle that I've been having recently and I'm not sure um, why exactly, but um, my milk supply has definitely decreased. So I've been doing um, a little bit throughout my day to help increase that milk supply. So instead of having, you know, two cups of coffee in the morning, I'll have one. I've been taking fenugreek as a supplement and drinking a lot of water. Um, I've definitely changed my diet to some dark leafy greens. And um, if I do have any bread or anything like that, um, I use whole grain bread and things like that. So I will show you some things during the day that I do to increase my milk supply and it's definitely been helping. I think part of the issue is Wilder is going through a growth spurt. He will be two months tomorrow so he's definitely going through um, a growth spurt and I think that my body is just having a tricky time keeping up with the demand of food because he is such a big eater. So yeah, I'm gonna show you some things throughout the day to um, kind of inform you on what I do to keep my milk supply going. Yeah, so here we go. So this is my mason jar. I try and drink about four of these a day to increase my supply. I sometimes drink it with a little bit of lemon or lime, but it seems to be helping my supply increase. I also started taking this supplement. It's a milk flow vitamin that I found at Target, the active ingredient being fenugreek, I believe. Um, I started taking or eating these booby boon cookies. They're not the best tasting so I probably won't repurchase uh, but you eat two to three before each nursing session and then I also still take my prenatal vitamin every day. I like to keep my fruit bowl pretty well stocked. I, um, I noticed that a boost in my milk supply is happening because of the amount of fruit I eat. I eat about two pieces of fruit a day and then three to four servings of vegetables a day. Okay, so my family came during Thanksgiving um, to Colorado to meet Wilder and kind of spoil him a little bit. And here are some of my favorite things that they got him. If anyone knows my husband and I, we love this brand of shoe. It's the only ones that we wear because they are so durable and so reliable. But yeah, Wilder got his own little pair of baby vans, of course, and they are just the cutest. They have the little line here. These are a size um, zero, so they don't really fit them yet, but um, eventually they will. So we got some little vans there. And then um, Gap was also having a sale, so they got tiny little boots with like Sherpa lining and that um, buffalo kind of plaid sneaker look. So that was super cute. And then he also got this jacket, which some of you may know or notice that Wilder is a little bit on the smaller side, so most of these things won't fit, but um, he's growing and getting there. But this is a little penguin jacket from Gap and it's just so cute and then while I was up at the mall I went to Crate and Barrel and I got him one of these play mats I was planning on making one but I decided instead to just buy the Crate and Barrel when it was on sale they have a little attachment for a tummy time here and eventually I will make one but um, I just you know, sometimes you don't have the time. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. It has different doves here and a little mushroom. It has alpaca or llama, whatever you want to call it. It has this cute snail, which I thought was funny. 
and a little dinosaur. So yeah, Wilder just sits here and plays and he's just very content in that way. But that's just my little baby haul that we have that I'd show you. Hi buddy. Hi Wilder. Hi Wilder. What are you looking at? Yeah. What are you looking at? Yeah. What's that? Bless you. Hi. Yeah. Wow. Oh, big yawn. Oh, so sleepy. Oh, so sleepy. Hi. Hi. Oh goodness, oh goodness, bless you, yeah, are you happy you got those sneezes out, yeah. <laughs> Today is a very special day in my adult life because we are becoming Costco members. I know a lot of you may think that's not a big deal, but I'm pretty stoked, so we are going to take you along with us, and if you are interested in something like that, um, stay tuned. Recently, Wilder has begun to be interested in his outside surroundings and he's able to recognize myself and Lee and other people. So you can see here that he's holding his head up uh, pretty well, a little wobbly still, but we're getting there. So I got a lot of comments last time saying that people really enjoyed the Q&A while I do makeup or something like that. So I will keep up with that. So. Question one, do you plan to stay in Colorado? Um, yes, we plan to stay in Colorado. We do not plan to stay in the area that we are in right now because it is extremely expensive and we want some land. If any of my Pennsylvania people are watching, they know that land is important. I need some fresh air and I need a place for my kids and animals to run around. So. We plan on moving to a different area. Question number two, if you have another child, what gender would you like it to be? Of course, I would love any gender. I just love babies in general, but um, I would like another boy. Number three, will you please do some more recipes, dinner and lunch? Yes, I can do more recipes for you. Number four, oh, this is a tricky one. Will Wilder eat meat? Um, yes, I plan to introduce meat to him, but it is his choice if he wants to eat meat or not. My parents gave me a choice if I wanted to eat meat or not. They never pressured me to eat meat or not to eat meat. So yeah, I believe it should be up to the person's choice. Number five, this is kind of random. What is your favorite holiday? It is Halloween. Number six, do you plan to do baby led weaning with Wilder? For those of you that don't know what baby led weaning is, it's kind of um, the child's choice on what they'd like to eat and what they wouldn't like to eat. There's no like specific um, pattern of foods they you just introduce different foods to them and that generally um, starts at around six months um, I'd like to I mean it depends on Wilder but if he's hungry enough he might start eating at four months and right now it is looking like he will start eating at four months so yeah we planned a baby led wean and then the second part of that question was will you document um, yes, I will try and document as much as I possibly can. Uh, 
Question number six. You said you studied art in college. What was your medium? Um, I was a printmaker. So for those of you that don't know what that is, um, your basic silk screening. Um, I focused on intaglio etching. So that um, is copper etching in an acid bath to just make it simple for you. Um, Number seven, where did you and your husband meet? We met in college. He um, actually attended one of my critiques and I later learned that he was an art major as well. Uh, Lee was a film photographer. And that completes uh, the questions that I received this week. I'm going to end the video here. This is just a clip of me doing something for me each day. Um, this is... Uh, something that I enjoy doing. I love to sew. I do have an Etsy shop. It's called Rocky Mountain Baby. And there's some baby gear on there as well as ring slings, which is a way to um, wear your baby. I like to do one thing for me per day. I ran into a woman at a farmer's market one day. She had six children and they were running amok. It was pure chaos and she just had the biggest smile on her face. And it really kind of stuck with me. Um, she approached me, noticed that I was pregnant, and she told me that, um, you know, it's gonna be the best time of my life. And I commented on her smile and I, I said, you look so happy and you just look so calm. How do you do it? And she said that she does one thing a day for her, whether that be meditating or doing something that she enjoys or even spending time with her kids, it really gets her through her day. So I am taking that woman's advice and trying to do something for me. So um, I sew when my elder takes his nap and some days I don't get to do that. Some days it could be as simple as brushing my hair or putting a little eye makeup on, but um, it's something for me that I get to do every day. So I will end the video here. If you like these kind of videos, definitely give this a like and please subscribe. It would mean the world to us and we will see you next time. Bye.